I'm Kate St Hill. I'm a writer and interiors blogger based in London. I create simple, understated interiors that feel relaxed and lived in. Through my blog, I write about simple interiors and well-considered design that can stand the test of time. I really enjoy using Instagram as part of my blog work. I take passion each day in creating a shot and framing it and focusing on all the little details in it to, to get the good shot. When I was decorating my home, I was thinking about creating a light, calming space because when I first moved in, they had painted it garish colours and there was a wall between the kitchen and the living room so the spaces felt quite small and dark. I wanted to open everything up and strip it back and take it back to its former glory. One of the things I really like collecting is postcards. I build up quite a collection from going to exhibitions or even vintage stores and markets and I like to use them as art because it's so easy and accessible and cheap. You just put them in a frame and you've got a beautiful thing to hang on your wall. I'm inspired by the city around me, the colour palette of greys and neutral tones and beiges. Grey is my favourite colour. I have grey almost throughout the home. My kitchen's grey, the walls are grey, the outside of the house is grey, the front door is grey. For me, I find it reflected in the urban landscape of London. When I think of London, it's quite a monochrome city. I picture the traditional terraced houses and the rooftops and the little muse houses which are so pretty and I try to bring an element of that urban landscape into my interior. For me Scandinavian design has a permanency. It's not transient. The pieces of furniture and interiors, they're built to last. The Trinidad chair for me is a dynamic design. It has fluidity and movement in the shape of the back. I think Nana Ditz was actually inspired by houses and architecture in Trinidad and I can see some of the fretwork or the ironwork even in London which you might have the, the iron railings which you have outside the traditional terraced houses. I can see an echo of the lines there. What I really like about Nana Ditzel is she was a woman who really made her own way in a man's world in the 20th century. There's not many famous female designers, a lot of them are mainly men. So it's, it's a joy to have a piece of design from a woman in your house. Also, she lived in London for 20 years in Hampstead, so there's a, that connection between Danish design and the English capital.